Hi guys, Alpha Reddit here today. I'm going to do a quick video on PPE you can use for the coronavirus and whether P3 filters are enough to protect against it. I'll put a link below to a study. I'm going to explain it in more depth later on in the video. First off, I'm going to start with the PPE you can wear. I haven't been doing any videos for the last week or so because I've been quite ill. I didn't get the coronavirus, don't worry. But we'll be back to normal posting frequency going over the next couple of days when I've caught up with everything. All right let's go okay so this is the minimum PPE you really want to be wearing a P3 respirator nitrile gloves and some goggles so always make sure you do a fit test whenever you've got your your mask on I showed this in the last video put a link in the description below watch it if you haven't I'll show you how to fit a mask make sure you've got your goggles nice and tight so now I'm going to show you how to take gloves off so you want to grab the edge with your other hand now pull it most of the way off but don't pull it all the way off and then you can use the inside of the glove to pull up your other glove that way you're minimizing the infectious area that you're touching with your hands and you get a nice little package you can throw in the bin where the inside of the glove is is contained so you're not getting that everywhere okay so you've got some alcohol gel here make sure you give your hands a proper clean don't just give them a quick rub get in between all of your fingers now there is guides on this on the internet <laughs> don't just follow what I'm doing here I'm doing it quickly for you guys but you want to be doing this for at least 25-30 seconds okay so you can either use rubbing alcohol or your alcohol gel to just give your gear a quick wipe down on the outside you know you should be getting on all the nooks and crannies of it make sure there's no virus on the outside of it. if you've got an outside area such as a porch it should be perfect to do this here so you can leave your gear outside your main living area Okay, so get your goggles and your mask off and then give your hands another quick clean. Now it's important once you've touched your gear you give your hands another quick clean because you'll do, there's always the possibility that some of the virus stayed on there. Alright, perfect. So I just wanted to show you as well because a lot of people are struggling to get hand sanitizer. I got these 500 milliliter ones at Staples for about four quid. So, got two of those, a litre for eight quid. So, can't really beat that. And also, on eBay for eight quid, five litres of 70% rubbing alcohol for eight quid. You can use this for your disinfecting your mask and your glasses as well, your hands, any cuts you have. Eight quid, and it does exactly the same job. Be careful, it is flammable, so don't, don't go storing it onto, onto your cooker or anything. Okay, so now I've shown you all the, P the reasonable PPE you can get. Like, that didn't cost that much for all that stuff. And most of it you can use for DIY or if you have any other little jobs you need to do around the house if things don't get so bad. So I've seen people on the internet going on about P3 filters. They're not enough because it's an aerosol. Now, that doesn't really make any sense. Activated charcoal isn't going to be absorbing that virus any better than the P3 filters already. Okay, so if you look at the link I'm going to put in the description below from the health and safety executive so that's the UK government's health and safety executive they have put in there they've done a test on what would be a much higher than usual rate of aerosolized they've done it with influenza which is a good model for coronavirus very similar size virus very similar spread and they found that P3 filters N95 filters are giving you a reduction rate of up to 100 when they're fitted well so p3 P filters a reduction rate of 100 if they're fitted well it means you're getting 100 100 times less viral particles are in the air so that's basically a protection with your abex filters you'll be paying more than triple the price and you're not going to get any more protection so you get abex if you really want to i'm not going to say to you don't get them if you want to get abex and feel you're more protected all power to you but you really don't need them p3s are absolutely fine so I hope you enjoyed the video today, it's a quick one, I've just come back from being sick but feeling better now so hopefully we're going to be getting one out every two days or so. So if you like, subscribe and leave us a comment below, that would be perfect. Alright, thanks guys, take care.